Time for a daily shower. I know I sound like garbage. Can't shake this cold. In the comments, leave your home remedy. I've tried everything. Maybe you're going to write something I haven't tried. It'll help me out. Let's check out the weather, though. We've got to watch out for the 7th, 8th, and 9th. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, big time impacts. Today's daily shower is shorter based on your feedback. You want me to get to the point? Hopefully I did so today. I'm always taking your feedback and applying it to future videos. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, like or comment on today's format across the west and then that storm system will spread out to the east. We'll have more on that coming up. This is a web camera as of midday from Tahoe. You can see in the ski resort area there. Uh, very calm. Wind four miles an hour. Temperatures 27. This webcam is part of a weather network. The ambient weather network. That's brought to us by the folks at Kestrel. They make all those fancy really awesome weather stations and willow drops and handhelds. It's great stuff. You should check it out. But beautiful webcam there. It looks calm, doesn't it? But that's the area of biggest impact to change over the next 24 hours. Look at the winter storm severity index. You look at the same area outside of Reno to Tahoe into the Sierras. Extreme winter storm impacts are on the way. You look toward Elko, toward Salt Lake City, on up to the north, Yellowstone, Billings. We're going to be having moderate to major storm impacts on the way over the coming days. That's part of this winter storm that's going to be moving across the western U.S. In terms of snowfall, look at some of these totals. This is really remarkable. As you look outside of Reno into the Sierras, we're looking at really pushing that gauge all the way up three feet plus, three feet plus, three feet or more snowfall coming in over the next three days into the Sierras. Then you look throughout Nevada, into Utah, sections of Idaho, into Wyoming and Montana. We're going to be pushing two feet of snowfall in some cases over three days. Blowing snow will be a concern in all of these areas. So travel along I-80, I-70, uh, 90, 94. You get the idea there's going to be impact on the highways due to this winter storm as it moves on through. And then by Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we're going to be looking at potential ice storm impacts with snowfall as the storm races off to the east. That potential ice and snow for the plains in the upper Midwest, it's going to be focusing on Thursday the 10th, Friday the 11th, Saturday the 12th. All these updates in a future daily shower. Lots of water across the west as described, and then that storm moves out over the northern plains in the Midwest. We'll have more on that in another update. And then down into Florida, wow, i got to watch out for this potential flooding situation from another tropical storm that's going to be moving in kind of from a rare direction. It's going to create some flooding concerns along the St. John's there, uh, so coastal areas, east coast of Florida, Brevard County, Volusia County, those kind of areas may see flooding in addition to strong winds from that storm. So quite an impact there. Again, we're just focusing on the next three days. What about next week? There are some hazards on the way, starting on the 12th, going all the way through the 17th. We have big time impacts coming next week. High winds throughout Alaska, driving in colder temperatures across Alaska, throughout Canada. And then look at this big bullseye where areas may be well below normal. And most of that's going to focus on the 12th to 17th, a little bit earlier than that as you work up toward Canada. But watching out for that bullseye of cold for the country next week. Potential winter storm impacts with that cold. And this is part of the same outlook for November that I discussed in a previous video. For now, that's today's Daily Shower. I'm going to save my voice. I'm going to pop down to the comments, see if you have any home remedies I should try. Until the next time, Matt Makins here. That's your Daily Shower.